Hello and welcome to our science experiment. Uh, we're going to investigate to see if we could make some waterproof fabric just like Charles Mackintosh did. I feel like I should have a white coat and some goggles. However, we shall begin. So you will need uh, some fabric. I'm using a dishcloth, but some cotton would, would do. Uh, you will need some PVA glue. You will need some hard glue and you will need some oil. Now, if you remember, the Chinese uh, in history coated silk with linseed oil to try and make it water to make a waterproof thing. So we will see if this will work. You will also need scissors and a ruler and a brush, and you will need a, a jar or a vessel. You could use a glass, but I thought a jam jar might be better because we need to attach the fabric to the top with elastic band, and I thought that might hold it in place. You will also need some water and I'm using a teaspoon, although a syringe or pipette would be better. Equally, I thought if it was coloured, it would be better for you to see if it was going through. So let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is measure uh, 15 centimetres on your fabric and make and cut out a 15 centimetre square. And as it happens, the dishcloth is in two, so you need two parts. So I have two squares here. Then what you're going to do is use one of these substances. That's the science word. So we're going to use a PVA glue and you will spread some of the PVA glue on the top of the fabric. Once you've covered it really thoroughly, then place the other one I'm showing you in the air, but obviously do this on a flat surface and mind that you put something down, a plastic bag or some covering or a wipeable cloth because it gets a bit messy. And then stick the two pieces together. Now, they will be wet. So what you will want to do then is you will need to pick them up to dry. Now, I left mine overnight, but it should only take a few hours. Once you've done that, Repeat the same process again, cut out two more squares, and then this time use the stick glue and see if that works better and use that. It is quite hard to spread, so make sure it's quite soft uh, and, and try it with that one and sandwich them together and then peg that one up to dry. And then finally, use some oil and um, brushing that over carefully onto one of the pieces of material, laying the other one on top, making a sort of waterproof sandwich. Anyway, once they are all dry, um, then you uh, are going to see if they're waterproof. You're going to test to see if they're waterproof. And actually, I put a performer for you to fill in and at the top I've put a prediction. Which one do you think is going to be the best substance for waterproofing. Okay, so you can write that at the top, the name of the experiment and then your prediction before you do it. Okay, it's okay to be wrong. Scientists get things wrong all the while and that's how they discover things because they keep going and keep persevering. So once you've done that, get your jam jar and place uh, this, so this is so this one and another one I made uh, last night and I left them to dry. So I know which one this is. I'm not going to tell you yet. Place it over the jam jar like so and then secure a plastic band around it. Once you've done that and make sure it's really nice and firm as best as you can get it, um, stretch it across. Now, what we want to know is, is that waterproof? So I've got a little bit of water and I need to use the same amount of water for whichever piece of cloth I'm trying. So I'm going to go for one teaspoon full of water and I'm hoping that's going to work. Now I know you can't see this because it's clear, but there is water in it. Look, here it goes. Um, food colouring, that's what we needed. Couldn't find any. And then I'm going to pour it. Now it might make a mess. So, like, it's like Blue Peter, I'm all prepared. I've got my tray here in case we have a little bit of a spillage. Pour on one teaspoon of water. Now, does it drip into the jar? Now, it looks like it might have gone on the fabric, but I can't see. 
Perhaps we'll do more than one. Perhaps we'll do two. We'll imagine it's a thunderstorm. Okay, because that water, no, it, it's falling outside, but I don't think it's going into the jar. No, it looks, it looks like the jar. No, it's looking very good. Oh, no. I think there might be a little bit of water in there. Mm. Well, now I still need to test the other ones that I have made earlier. Now, I'm not going to tell you which one this is because I want you to do the uh, experiment and find out for yourself. I've made a sheet so you can write your experiment out, but you might want to uh, do it first and then write it up in best. Definitely make those predictions and don't worry if it fails or it doesn't work. We are learning how to make waterproof fabric and I'm sure this won't be the last experiment that we do. Okay, have fun and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.